Hello, gorgeous soul. Sending you so many good vibes. This week is pretty intense. We've got that retrograde Pluto and Jupiter conjunct, which is exactly the energy that pushed us through from January. But basically, there is a big gateway coming this week. On top of that, retrograde Saturn re-enters Capricorn and we have a full moon eclipse in Capricorn. Let's see what it's going to do for you. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Aquarius, this week the truth will set you free. There is a spiritual revelation, there is a uh, truth being revealed, possibly if there was a lie, if you lied, someone else lied, all of that is being resolved and sorted out this week. You're, you're going through a massive shift of spirit and you have all of this year actually, you're looking at life differently. You might have found some of it quite difficult because it's all been a bit blurry some of the boundaries have all been a bit blurry, but you are ready for change. And actually, next year, you're going to be feeling, you know, used to this magical stuff and able to let go and able to come into your power. Don't forget, we've got Jupiter at the end of the year going into your sign. Um, we've got, we'll have Saturn going back to your sign. Saturn's leaving your sign. So actually, you might feel a bit lighter this week. But you are coming into a space where the universe is saying, right, you are maturing. Your skills, your magic, yourself as a human, your soul is ready now to take responsibility for yourself, to build a magical world, to take magic and to take kind of a deeper knowledge of the universe and make it real in the world for you. There may be strange coincidences. There may, well, I would imagine actually you've already had a ton of strange coincidences and magical and mystical experiences expect an uptick of that particularly with this full moon eclipse now eclipses are very intense they are very intense they bring up the shadowy stuff and the full moon obviously brings up all the stuff that we suppress all the things in our unconscious so again anything that you uh, is buried is coming to the surface for you and also it's like you're like wow you know what's it all about and and who is real you can't tolerate superficiality. I mean, you're one of the most tolerant signs, but you really want to, to be in touch with the truth, the truth of your emotional connections, the truth of your spiritual connections. You know, the truth is a, you know, is there such a thing as truth? You know, everybody has a different perception of what's real and what isn't real. And you are in the midst of a very magical time. So it's it's different. You can't really put your finger on things, but profound things are occurring. You are Dorothy um, dancing up the yellow brick road. No doubt you'll meet some interesting characters along the way. And also the people you're meeting at the moment, you have a soul connection with. That They're not casual friendships. You meet people and you look them in the eyes and you feel like you know them or you're having conversations which are much deeper than usual. It's profound and you know you're ready for it you've started the process but you've got to go on and, and you've got you've got to be real and it's very important also that, you don't, that you, the universe is not going to let you inverted commas of course you have free will i wouldn't recommend that you take drugs this week or you drink or you do anything to escape because it's really this is about a spiritual awakening and those things probably won't work for you in the way that they did if you've ever indulged in such things I mean, it could be anything, anything that you do to an extreme to escape. For some people, that's yoga. You know, too much yoga, too much extreme and anything is not good. Um, but what this week, it's about you really being present, watching for the coincidences, being in tune with your psychic ability, because you are psychic off the scale this week. Let's see what the tarot has to say, Aquarius. What is occurring for you? I am shuffling... I am shuffling. But basically, you're at the end of a cycle and you're tipping towards a, a personal revolution. And you are one of the most revolutionary signs. Okay, I've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So there is a moment of peak emotional happiness, a real fulfilling emotional experience for you this week. And knowing that you are loved and, and feeling the love of other people around you. You also look out for an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius this week. Who may be a bit stressed out and you are brilliant at giving advice uh, or if they're stressing you out take your own advice if they're stressed out you give them great advice 
Um, yes, you are a little bit in limbo and that is frustrating because you're at the end of a cycle. You are perched just about to go into a new cycle. But right now you really do have to tie up the loose ends and deal with the past and make your commitment to go forward. There is a lot of emotion and love around you this week. The Queen of Cups and then you've got the Moon. I would definitely pay attention to what's going on in your mind and your emotions around the time of that full moon. But there could be an offer coming to you around the full moon. So I've got the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And it's like suddenly you feel comfortable. When you're really in touch with your spirit and your intuition, you can be comfortable in accepting things that challenge you, but ultimately lead to your achievement. And the Ace of Wands is all about peak experience of achievement, of getting your passion for life, being able to move ahead sure of yourself and you're doing it for the right reasons it's not about money it's not about superficiality it's about doing what you've got to do and then i've got the judgment card which is exactly where you are you on the the precipice of go, going in a whole new direction take care gorgeous come visit me on instagram at michelle knight i send you so much love hi gorgeous before you go check out my new film on my fabulous psychics a lot of people ask me for readings i don't do them anymore but for over 20 years i've had an award-winning team of psychics that i truly hand pick so check out the film let me know what you think the purpose of a reading i feel is very much to inspire people and to empower people it's about hope it's about guidance using a phone or being with you it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.